What's up, Plane Crash Survivors? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG48, and welcome back to The Forest. So here's the thing. I've been cutting down trees using this modern axe with all the feathers on it, and th this thing's pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie. The thing's pretty dope, but I think it's time we get the chainsaw. I've been cutting down a lot of trees, and it's been going a little bit slower than I would like. Uh, I have been enjoying the strength boost. You know, as you cut down trees, you do get more and more strength. My strength is almost up to 40 athleticism up to the 47 and that's freaking awesome but i yeah i think it's time we get the chainsaw now in order to get i'm going to show you where to get the chainsaw i'm going to show you where to get the climbing axe which you need to get the chainsaw okay all right so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the cannibal camp because i want to grab some dynamite i have a feeling i'm going to be fighting um a pretty decent amount of mutants and there might be some situations where i kind of want to <clears throat> drop bombs on them you know from above and, uh, yeah, I don't have any dynamite left on me, so we're going to go to the cannibal camp. We're going to grab some dynamite. Once I get dynamite, I am going to... Uh, whenever the sun's out, you, you can't really see anything on the map. There we go. All right, so when it, once I get the dynamite, we're going to go up to the sinkhole. And the cave system we're going to be looking for is going to be right by the sinkhole. We're going to go down to the sinkhole. We're going to grab the climbing axe. We're going to get out. And then we're going to go to another cave system, and that will be where the chainsaw is. The sinkhole is going to probably be the longest and most difficult part to get. Uh, you know, the chainsaw shouldn't be too bad. And in future videos, I do want to get the rebreather. I'm going to need the rebreather to get the modern bow. And I want the modern bow, because that's going to be the ultimate, you know, the ultimate mutant slaying weapon. Uh, the modern bow with the best arrows in the game just, just shreds mutants. But that's going to be in a future video. For today... I really, really want that chainsaw. So let's come on in here. Let's grab some dynamite. And I'm also going to grab some soda because I've been using soda a lot. I tend to abuse the soda when it comes to like, you know, uh, when it comes to stamina. Because here's the deal. You drink the soda and it automatically refills your stamina. And you might be thinking, well, you know, use it sparingly. Don't use it so much. How many do I have? 10. Okay, I'm out. Uh, you might be thinking, well, don't use the um, soda so much, you know, use it when you really need it. But here's the thing, as I progress in the game and my athleticism is going up, I won't need the soda as much. So, I like to use it in early game, try and make early game a little bit more smooth. And, uh, like right now, look at look at how much I'm running right now. And, I mean, that, that my health is barely going down, you know. Um, or sorry, my stamina is barely going down. My health's not going down at all, thank God. <laughs> but, yeah, my stamina is barely going down. What the hell is this? Oh, some guy giving Timmy a gun. Awesome. So I don't see what could go wrong there. I'm going to go ahead and paint myself red. So if I come into contact with any uh, cannibals, you know, maybe they'll think I'm their god and they won't attack me. Uh, yeah, so like I said, I, I like to use the soda early because it makes your early game smoother. And later on, I don't really need it as much. So, I mean, you do need it. You always need the soda. I mean, getting stamina back. Like, here, watch. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Look at my stamina. Stamina, stamina, drink. Now look at the stamina. I can feel the difference, though, with uh, almost 50 athleticism. I can run for a long time now without, like, without having to stop. Not only that, but my stamina is coming back a lot quicker. A lot quicker. Athleticism is the bomb. Now, getting the chainsaw is going to hurt my strength. There's no, there's no two ways about that, okay? Um, I'm just going to get less strength because I'm not going to be chopping trees with my arms. You know, that kind of sucks. I don't really melee the mutants a lot. Or, I don't melee the mutants at all, except for Cowman. Um, and I really don't melee the cannibals either that much. I should probably start meleeing cannibals more. It would save trips to go get more arrows, right? So, we should be around the area of the sinkhole. I think it's uh, up here somewhere. I'm kind of relying on my... I don't know what you call it. My sense of direction here. And it's probably not perfect. There's going to be... Up here, there's going to be a land bridge. And that's going to... Yep. Yeah, yep. Oh, there's a sinkhole. Okay. So I was a little bit off. I thought I was down this way. There's going to be a land bridge and there's going to be the sinkhole. And right in between, right in between both of those uh, structures is going to be where, where the cave system is. So let's go take a look at the sinkhole. A lot of people said you can like jump on a, a turtle shell to go down the sinkhole. Uh, I've tried it. I, I could never get it to work. I don't know if they patched it out or if I've just been doing it wrong. But there's the sinkhole right there. Now, over here is going to be the land bridge. <clears throat> it's going to be on that side. That land bridge also goes to another cave system over that way. And I don't know. That might be where I get the modern bow. I don't remember. I, I got to look it up. Uh, and by look it up, I mean look at my old videos. 
But yeah, over there is the land bridge. And the cave system we're going to be looking for is going to be in between, in between the sinkhole and the land bridge. So let's come on over this way. Yep, there's the land bridge right there. You can kind of see it off there in the distance. It's just a it's just a little strip of land that connects this part of the uh, area to that part over there. All right, this is the cave you're looking for. Now I went over here and I saved in these tents and there's another cave over here. That is the wrong cave, okay? But just so you know, there are some uh, tents over here and you can save in them. I've already done it. Uh, but that's not the that's not the proper cave over over there. The proper cave, all right? I'm going to I'm going to be very specific about this so you don't go down the wrong cave. When you're looking at the cave that you're supposed to go down, you'll see a little white tent right there and if you turn left, there's the land bridge. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jack up the lighting to M131 and we're going to head on down into the cave. So it should be a lot better down here with that light like that. Another thing we can do to brighten it up is take out our trusty lighter. So let's come on down here and see what's what. I'm here for the climbing axe. Let's go. Let's go, people. Where's my climbing axe? Man, this is a long freaking rope, dude. I'd never be able to climb up that in real life. <laughs> Oh boy. All right. Well, maybe if, maybe if my life depended on it, maybe I could get that like super strength, you know? Like um like in real life, I'd never be able to climb up a rope like this. I'm too out of shape, right? Uh but you know what? If you get that crazy adrenaline like where mothers can like pick up cars off their children, uh, you know, if my life depended on it, you know, maybe I could. Maybe I could. I'd probably like rip all my muscles and maybe even hurt myself, but um maybe I'd be able to do it with the adrenaline rush. <laughs> Okay, so right here, uh, you could use the rebreather here, but you don't need it. All you gotta do is jump down here, and then go right up. There you go. Okay, oh boy. <laughs> now, is there anything down there? Yep, this is what I got the dynamite for. Alright, so let's, uh, let's blow up some babies. These guys suck, man. Alright, we're gonna just press G to drop it. And boom. Babies go boom. <laughs> That's what you get. Uh, the babies, like, they're not hard to hit. But the thing is, they do a ton of damage. Like, a ridiculous amount of damage. So, it's it's no joke, man. You want to you take the babies out. Um, another place to save. Uh, yeah, I guess I might as well save. No reason not to. Like I said, I saved up top. I'll save down here. Save often. I learned that from Fallout games. Alright. So we got Oh, we got some gas. Okay, beautiful. And this looks like the only way we can go, so we're going to kind of shimmy through here. Yep, this is going to take us out to the sinkhole. Basically, this is loading us to the outside part of the of the map now. We're not in the caves anymore. See? That's the sinkhole. Alright, so we need to go around this way. And I think there's going to be some baddies over here, maybe with some babies, I don't know. Got to be kind of careful. Uh, baddies with the babies. Betty babies. Anybody over here? No, nobody over here. Maybe they're through here. Could have swore there's some there's some crazy cannibal shenanigans going on around here. Okay. Uh, there's a skull. Yeah, there's gonna have to be some baddies soon. I I I feel it. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Shh. I don't hear anything. Oh, there we go. Okay. I knew it. All right, hold on, buddy. I got something for that ass. There you go. How hey, you like me now? Oh, I can't see anything. I'm going to have to swing it one hand. Yep, you're done. Oh, I see babies. Oh! Oh! Oh, knocked him right out of the park! Oh, God. I hit my escape button and it fell off my keyboard. <laughs> Oh my god, that was a home run, bro. We gotta watch. Yeah, where there's where there's one, there's more. I'm not gonna waste dynamite on these guys, though. There you go. Yeah, that is some messed up shit, man. This game is borked. This game is borked to all hell. Give me that. Give me that money. You don't need it anymore. I found a passenger apparently. Okay, so this is uh, this goes pretty deep. You do not want to be jumping off that. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of walk past here. And there's going to have to be some uh, Mario platforming over here somewhere. I think there's like a jump here. Yep, right there. 
Okay. Ugh. I don't I don't feel comfortable about this. Ugh. I thought I was gonna hit the body and it was gonna stop me. I got that pit in my stomach. Okay, so let's come through here. And yep, more babies. Do I really Yeah, whatever. Let's just use the dynamite. It's fun. It's fun for the whole family. <clears throat> there you go. Hey, buddy. Ooh, can I knock him off? Dude, that'd be bitching if I could knock him off. Oh! Easy there, tough guy. Where are you going? There you go. I'm not even gonna use the hairspray on you. Oh god, me that will. Drink, drink, there we go. See how that's, see how drinking that soda is so powerful? Just get all that stamina back. I blew up all the babies, by the way. Alright, here it is, people. We now have da -da -da, the climbing axe. And we are this much closer to getting the chainsaw. Okay, so looking at the map, um, if you look all the way to the right, like all the way to the right around, like right below my thumb knuckle, there's a little river that's kind of going, you know, up and to the right. You can see the cave. I've already, I've already found the cave system where the, uh, where the chainsaw is going to be. So I have to make my way all the way over there. Now it's dark. So I'm not going to show the travel. I'll just show when I'm there. And I'll show you on the map when I'm there so you can see for yourself. So I'm at the cave where the chainsaw is. And I was swimming throughout the water. And it's nighttime and cold. So I had to start a fire here uh, to kind of dry myself off. But if you're wondering where it is, again, it is right there. Okay. And I'm going to have some blueberries. Because I feel like I'm going to need my strength. And let's get inside. You know what? I think this is going to be a torch making situation although you know what i think I'm pro i might have to climb down uh well oh god i hate those freaking bats uh you know what maybe i won't make the torch because i keep thinking i'm gonna have to climb down and i'm not but well, i don't know you know what the hell with it it's only one piece of cloth right what's the big deal just make a torch i needs to be able to see what is this bunch of money Boots, torches out because I just picked up a piece of Timmy's toys. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. There, there ain't no point in making the torch. Oh, here we go. All right, so this is the kind of wall you need the climbing axe for. Okay. Um, you can just drop down here, and you might even be able to get out without climbing up that way, but that's usually the way I get out. So that's why I thought you needed a climbing axe for the chainsaw. Maybe you don't, but whatever. We need the climbing axe for other things, so I'm glad I got it. All right, so this is a deep pit right here. So let's come on down here. You can kind of like shimmy right down here and like jump from. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to listen for mutants. I don't hear any. Uh, you kind of shimmy right down here and jump from spot to spot, but um, you know, I I can't see anything, so I'm not gonna take the chance of breaking a leg or something. You know, the last thing you want to do in a in a survival situation is take chances, right? All right, guys, and there you go with the chainsaw. I told you the chainsaw would be a lot easier. Chainsaw was definitely easier, and I even have some gas for it. Does it come with? I've got four things of gas for the chainsaw, and it probably comes with gas. Should I? Um, yeah. You know what? Let's put the chainsaw number three. There we go. And there's the chainsaw. Nin, 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 nin. And yes, you can use it to kill cannibals, which you know, I probably won't, but well, I might just for you guys. But yeah. All right. Cool. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to get back. Now, you might be wondering why I didn't sleep through the night. Uh, you know, to get the to get the daylight back. Uh, the, the fact of the matter is, um, sleeping through the night, you got to make sure you know what part of the night it is. It's got to be early night. Because if you go to sleep at like 3 o'clock in the morning, it's going to completely F your sleep schedule. And you can only go to sleep like a certain amount of time after, you know, the last time you went to sleep. So if you go to sleep at 3 o'clock in the morning, you might not be able to go to sleep again until like midnight. And it completely Fs your sleep schedule. So don't go to sleep unless you know what time of day it is. And it's the proper, like, you know, 9 p.m., 10 p.m., something like that, you know. Uh, that's, that's the way I do it. Otherwise, you, you're going to screw up your sleep schedule. And then you're going to have a bad time. I never showed you how to use the climbing axe. All right, so here is the wall. You can tell the walls you can climb because they have rope on them and they're kind of like, you know, um, I don't know what the, rough, right? So you go up there and you kind of latch onto the wall and you simply go up and then you go the direction you want to go. And I think you press E to drop. Yep, that is the case. Beautiful. Climbing axe works. We are back, made it home safe. That is awesome. Okay, well, you know what? Let's put the chainsaw to use, man. 
let's put the, let's put it to use. So I'm going to go up there too. And what do you think I should call that area over there? My alternate lumber camp? Like this is my main lumber camp and up here is my alternate lumber camp? I don't know. I kind of want a name for it. I'm full on... No, I'm not full on sticks yet. Uh, you know another thing we need to do? We need to save stone. Uh, some builds I'm going to be doing in the upcoming future, I'm going to need a lot of stone for. I'm going to need a lot of stone. Um, I might even stream. I think I'm going to start streaming this game more often. Because I've got some big expensive builds. And they're going to take a good amount of time. You know, uh, to farm the resources. And I love farming on Twitch. You know, I, I can't really show farming too much on YouTube. Because it's just kind of boring. Like, there's not much to it, right? I could show a little bit here and there to show you how it's done. But not really too much, right? But the cool thing about Twitch is I can interact with people. In real time, you know, can't do that on YouTube. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna be streaming this more often for sure. Cause I got a, I'm gonna need a lot of stone. Like, I'm gonna need a lot of stone for the for the upcoming things I'm gonna be building. I'm gonna be building. Uh, well, I don't want to spoil it, but just know that I'm gonna need a lot of stone. All right, so let's come up here and let's start using the chainsaw. Love me a chainsaw. Okay, and here we are. I was just watching Scarface the other day, and they they put the chainsaw to good use in Scarface. Did I just hear something, or is that me breathing? Hmm. Eh, I don't know. All right, well, what else? All right, let's chainsaw it up. So, here's the thing about the chainsaw. Not only does the chainsaw cut, it, it, it only really cuts a little bit faster than the axe. It's not like a big difference in how much it cuts, but here's the thing. The axe takes stamina, the chainsaw doesn't. So you can get from tree to tree a lot faster using the chainsaw, right? Because it's not using, the only thing I don't like about it is it's too loud, you know? Look, at look because of the stamina, I can get around a lot quicker. And that actually really adds up. It really does. You can get a lot more trees down with this thing than you can with the axe. Not because this thing cuts, although actually it does cut quite a bit faster. Now that I'm actually cutting stuff. But yeah, this thing's freaking dope. It's dope! Okay, there we go. There we go. Chop, chop, chop. Well, not so much chop, but... Now you do have to worry about gas, but I know where they get gas, so... Not really that big of a deal. Yeah, the, the ability to sprint from tree to tree really makes this thing a lot better. It, it's already better, but, man, you can just zip around. You just zip around, dude. Zippity-doo-dah. Here I go. So look at that, man. I just did that in, like, what, 30 seconds? If that? I mean, that's sick, dude. That is sick. That's better than TNT. That's better than the axe. I mean... Yeah, TNT will knock down a bunch of trees at the same time, but you got to be careful. I've used TNT here before, and you know what? The, the trees fall wherever the hell they want. It doesn't matter where, which way I'm facing. And I've lost that thing before. I had to reload the game. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, TNT is a little bit... It's very hard to control. You also have to go get it, like, from the cannibal camp. So, yeah, I mean, the uh, I think the chainsaw is just some, uh, some next-level, like, just tree-chopping goodness, right? This is going to... This is just going to make mincemeat of, of Mother Nature, you know? F you, Mother Nature. Your trees, all your trees are belonging to me. Man, Lumber Camp 2 is dope as hell. Like, the fact that I can use a log sled to get all this stuff in there is going to be so freaking great. Man, this is like four log sleds. Bada bing, bada boom, you got four log sleds. And this seems to be, even though, like, everyone tells me these, like, big trees over there. You see that big funky tree? That's supposed to be like a meeting ground uh, for the cannibals. And I've, I found that to be true. Usually the cannibals, like, if you're around these trees, the cannibals, like, really, like, message you bad. Um, but I gotta be honest, and maybe I shouldn't say anything because um, maybe I've been lucky and I shouldn't jinx myself. But I, I'm gonna do it. I, I haven't seen any cannibals here, like, at all. I don't think I've been attacked here once. Maybe, like, the first time I came here, but I think I remember being attacked here the first time I came here. And then that was it. And I haven't seen a, a single cannibal here yet. And the area that I've built in, you know, I built there partially because it has high foot traffic. I want to have combat. Um, now, sometimes I just want to build and the combat does feel annoying. But you know what? I'd rather have too much combat than not enough. I mean, not enough combat just gets boring. Uh, so, you know, it's fine. Uh, hey, man, the cannibals. They're the enemies I love to hate. There's certain, there's certain enemies in games that I love to hate. Okay. Uh, the Screamers in Seven Days to Die, the Cannibals in this game are two big ones 
I can't really think of any more right now, but I know there's others. Uh, yeah, can you guys tell me what other enemies, like, I really get, like, just get my blood boiling when they're just annoying me all the time? I thought there was another one. Oh, yeah, I don't like the, uh, spider zombies in Seven Days to Die either. Although they're not as bad as the screamers. The screamers are just annoying. I think, if, I think the annoyance has something to do with the noises they make, too. Like, certain noises, I just have a low tolerance for, for certain noises that enemies make. And it just kind of, like, just drives me insane. Um, but, again... I do it on purpose, you know, I want to build in these high density areas, and I want to be attacked. Um, this, this area that I'm building in now, might be one of the most highly dense, highly dense, highly dense, highly dense, very high density. Yeah, super high density. It might be one of the, like, the, the most foot trafficked place I've ever built. And one time I built near that cannibal camp, the main cannibal camp, uh, and there was probably more, more guys there, but... I don't know, man. This place is, this place is insane. All right, let's see how many we lose this time. Okay, I see one rolling off. Nope, 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 nope. No, no. See, that's the one I let go last time. I think this is gonna be perfect. I think I got all 48. I think I got all 48. Yeah, this thing is dope. This thing is working flawlessly. Somebody said, "Well, Cage, why did you rebuild the whole thing when all you had to do is put a fence?" near the entrance that was the that was the problem right uh i'll show you exactly what he's talking about so right here make sure nothing else is gonna roll off right here that's the entrance way and that was the problem why didn't you just make a fence up there i couldn't i've tried i could not figure out any way to make a fence up there and you know what it doesn't matter because turning it around worked fine and the rebuild was like two seconds because i already had all the logs so no problem no fuss and no muss yeah this is this is working out great like I, I mentioned when I built this gazebo catch, um, I, I used a, uh, I used a crane the first time I ever built this. And that was, that was a waste of time because, you know, getting the logs onto the log sleds and then onto the log holders, bringing the crane all the way up and then, you know, doing it that way. It was just, it's too, it's way too time consuming. This is a much better, much better build. I'm really, really happy with the way this came out. There we go, and this one. Yep, this looks beautiful. This looks beautiful. I think this is perfect. It's working! And there should be one more in there somewhere. A lot of times it gets stuck up top. Huh, I'm not seeing the last one, the last piece. Did I actually lose one? That's weird because I didn't see any flying off. Or is that complete and I didn't notice? Yeah, I, I lost one. Oh, man. I thought it was perfect. I mean, it's fine. One one is not that big of a deal. Huh. Well, that kind of sucks. I, I don't know where it could have gone. All right. Well, it is what it is. Hey, man. Losing one is not that bad. Took a couple minutes to look everywhere, including underneath the platform. Uh, anytime I've ever lost logs, I usually see them flying off. So the fact that I didn't see that flying off is pretty weird, but, you know, like I said, one log. It's not really um, a huge deal. I will sacrifice one log for this uh, build. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to finish up over... Oh, there it is! Ha! Suck on that game! 100%! 48! 48! 48! Come on, guys, chant. Give me hashtag 40... Can I get some hashtag 48s in the chat, please? All right, come on. Come on, guys. Give me, give me some hashtag 48s. Because that is freaking dope. 48, 48. All right, that makes me very happy, actually. I know, really, like I said, it's only, it's funny when I lose the logs, it's like, oh, it's only one log. But when I find the logs, it's like the greatest thing since sliced bread. A little bit of hypocrisy there, but that's okay. I'm just trying to, um, you know, look on the bright side. When you lose it, eh, it's only one log. When you find it, it's like, great, it worked perfectly. It, it, uh, yeah, it's all coming up cage, you know what I'm saying? All right, so let's put this over here. We need to make some kind of a walkway onto the ceiling of this thing because I am going to put the farm on the ceiling of the of this. Maybe we should make the farm somewhere else. Do I really? I mean, look at all this. Look at all this real estate I have. Do I really need the farm on top of the? I mean, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a little walkway up to the roof no matter what. But do I really need to put a farm on top of the roof of the, you know, of the kitchen area? I know it makes sense. I get that. I mean, that, you know, that's where, that's where you're getting the food to cook with. I get it. 
But at the same time, I could just make a farm over here. I can make a farm right here. A giant freaking farm. You know, maybe I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do that. There's a, I have a lot of real estate here. There's no reason for me to be putting stuff on roofs. <laughs> you know, you put stuff on roofs when you want to save space. You know, you don't, you don't put stuff on roofs when you, when you have a giant freaking platform. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have, like, all this area, like, squeezed into this one spot, including a farm. And then I'm going to have the rest of the platform that's going to be open. That doesn't make any sense. All right. Well, let's go ahead and put this stuff in here. Okay. This is going to be um, where the... Uh, I'm not really sure where I'm going to put it. I'll probably put it over here. I'm thinking I'm going to put the sink right here. Or the sink will go right here. And then over here will be where the where the um, oven's going to go. Yeah, I think that'll work. Alright, we do not want to finish this because we need to get in here. So let's go ahead and put the next part onto this. I'm going to turn off my timer. And let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now we just need to complete this part right here. So what we're going to need is... Uh, you know what? Let's just... Nah, let's just... Let's take this out of here. I'm not going to put any logs anywhere I'm not sure about. So let's take this out of here. And then I'm going to need a full log sled to get up there. Uh, use it as a platform. And then I will hopefully get the, get the next part of that second floor worked out. And it should be pretty cool. It should be pretty cool. Let's go over here. Alright. And then right here... Okay, and these are our stairs. Okay. Alright, so now we bring this out. We press C. And we start off right there. And Oh, this is only one, one way to go. That's cool. It should hopefully be a little bit easier. Oh, what? Oh, I see. Okay. Alright, so you see how it's like a little bit mismatched right there? That's annoying, but I really don't like... I don't know. I really don't think there's any much I can do about it. It's fine. It's fine. You know what, guys? It's getting dark, so I think that's a um, a signal for me to call it. Oh, that's not really... Oof. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, that is not going to work for me, man. That is not going to work. Let's try that one more time. And it is getting dark, so I'd prefer to... Son of a bitch. That thing ain't high enough. All right, let's get this a little higher. By the way, the cannibals can and and will run on my uh, on my deck here to fight me. So that's pretty fun. Oh, look at them over there. All right, let's try this one more time. You know, it's, it's getting a little dark. So uh, graphics M one three one, and let's try this again. See, so we want that way. See, is that the? Maybe we should go from this way to the other side. How about that? Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, that looks... I mean, that, that thing's still misshapen a little bit, but this side looks better now. Yeah. Okay. I think that... Yes. Yes. Good. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. All right. Well, I think I'm going to save this and call it here. The only thing I don't like about this is that they're not lined up. You see how this right here... But there's nothing I can do about that. All right, guys. I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.